Hi, my name is Eric Ergen. Today I'd like to give you a 5-minute overview of the Enterprise Chat and Email feature in Unified CCE Release 11.5. This new feature replaces EIM Win in the Unified CCE portfolio and provides email, web chat, and callback right out of the box. There is a new Asian gadget that is supported on IE11, Chrome, and Firefox. For smaller deployments, up to 400 agents, only two virtual machines are required. For larger deployments, up to 1,500 agents, additional virtual machines can be deployed. All right, let's take a quick look at a demo. John Smith is using his Firefox browser to log into Finesse Agent Desktop. He's enabled for single sign-on. He sees multiple tabs on his desktop layout for the different business applications that he interacts with on a daily basis. He clicks on the ECE tab, which contains the new gadget for the Enterprise Chat and Email product. This new gadget also supports single sign-on and does not require John to enter his credentials. This gadget provides all the features that John needs to service his customers. Here he can change his availability in either channel. He can personalize the behavior of this new gadget by changing the options shown here. He can switch between chats and emails. He can view the completed activities he can conduct searches across activities, cases, and customers. And on the right-hand side, there are some additional functionality that will come into play when John is working on an assigned task. So let's go ahead and make him ready for email. And right away, he got two new emails assigned to him waiting in his inbox. He can see the due dates. He's able to work on multiple tasks. That's why he got multiple assignments. He clicks on the first email, which opens up in the reply pane. He can see the header and the body, see who is the sender and what the subject line is. He can write his reply using these rich text editing controls to insert links, photos, tables. He can also use these quick responses to add headers greetings, or his signature. In addition to the reply pane, he can click on the activity button to see the activity details where he can add classifications and notes. He can also see the full trail of this activity routing. He can go up a level and look at the case details which might include multiple activities within. He can change the severity he can also add classification and notes. And finally, at the highest level, he can look at the customer details. He can make changes as needed. He can look at the history of all the cases. And more importantly, he can dig deeper into each interaction with this customer and use this information and knowledge to better service this customer. Lastly, at the top, he can add new customers pull activities from the queue, or he can pick a specific activity from a queue or from a user. Back on the reply pane, he can either send his reply and keep the case open, or he can send and complete in one click. He can also transfer this case back to the queue. For now, let's go ahead and send and complete. And we have a new activity assigned, but before we work on that, let's go change our state for chat interactions and click on the chat tab. Now we're going to hop on to our customer portal, Francisco Finance, where Jason Bourne is logged in and viewing his account information. He has a question that he needs an answer right away. He sees the click to chat button here and clicks on that and provides his details on this form. His 
email address, his phone number, and a quick note about what he needs. He clicks Submit, and he is able to see the estimated wait time. Meanwhile, on Cisco Finesse, John receives the chat interaction. He clicks on it, and he has access to the same rich text editing controls, including links, their quick responses and macros, and what have you. He can also click on the activity, case, and customer buttons to see the details. He can also, in addition to the email handling, he has access to a new functionality, which is to push pages. He can direct the customer to certain web pages. Another useful visual indicator here is this red status bar, which indicates to John that it's his time to respond. When he finally responds to the customer, the indicator turns green, meaning that it's the customer's turn now. In a use case where there are multiple of these chat transactions uh, waiting in his inbox, he can quickly see which ones require his immediate attention. Meanwhile, on the customer side, customer is able to see the typing indicator and continue to interact with the agent. Once the interaction comes to a close, John can hit the complete button, which will pop up this post survey on the customer's desktop to allow him to download the transcript or print it right from here, as well as provide his satisfaction to the chat transaction that just took place. This concludes our short demo. Thank you for watching.